So let's assume that this entire square represents a hole. And we can see that part of it is shaded in in blue. What we're going to do in this video is try to represent the part that is shaded in blue as a fraction, as a decimal, 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 and as a percent. So pause the video and see if you can do that. Well, let's first think about it as a fraction. So the whole is split into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten equal sections. And six of them are filled in. So the blue represents six tenths of a whole, or represents, you could say just say six tenths. And you could also rewrite that if you divide the numerator and the denominator by two. That's the same thing as three over five. Fair enough. Now let's represent it as a decimal. What decimal would it be? Pause the video again and see if you can do that. Well, six tenths, we could literally just go to our place value. So that's the ones place, we have a decimal. And then you have your tenths place. And so we have six tenths, so you could just put it right over there. We are putting a six in the tenths place to represent six tenths. Now what about a percentage? Well, percent means per hundred. So one way to think about it is six over 10 is the same thing as what per hundred? That is equal to, if we multiply the numerator and the denominator by 10, that's the same thing as 60 per hundred. Or another way of thinking about it, 60 per, instead of hundred, you could say cent. And so this would be equal to, this would be equal to 60%. Let's do another example. So here, once again, our entire square represents a whole. So see if you can represent this as the part that's shaded in blue as a fraction. Pause the video and do that. Well, you can see that this is a 10 by 10 grid. So there's 100 equal sections here. 100 equal sections. Each of these squares represents 100th. And how many of them are there? Well, let's see, this, is, this row is 10. 20, 30, 40, and then one, two, three, four. So this is 44 over 100, 44 hundredths. And we could actually represent this in other ways. We could divide the numerator and the denominator by four, in which case you would get 11 over 25. That's another way to represent this same fraction. Now what about as a decimal? Well, 44 hundredths, you could say, well, you have your ones place. And then this is the same thing. You literally just say this is 44 hundredths. This is another way of representing 44 hundredths. It's four tenths, and four hundredths is 44 hundredths. And then if you were to do a percent, well, this is 44 per hundred, or 44 hundredths. But even here, I like, I like looking at it as 44 per hundred, or 44 per cent. So this is going to be 44 percent. And we're done. 